Mela, as you can see, this is the largest of the rooms. Amazing, Ushan. It's a little dark. Dark? No, ta, it's light. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see me, ta. Yeah, on the website, it said this property had loads of natural light, but so far, most of the rooms are pretty dark. Much natural, this light. There's no electricity here, ta. Ara, look, the sunlight comes down the shaft, bounces off the katusa, and comes in through that little ventilation hole up there. There's a nest in it. Birds live there. Ah, oosh, a vigden. That's what I did to the Africans living in the garage next door. How horrible. Where will they live? I heard somewhere in Floriana, next to Triton Fountain. Amazing location, oosh, hon. Very damp. Where? Here or next to the fountain? Is that mold in the corner? No, <laughs> matarash. No, those are definitely mushrooms. Ah, that's, that's the herb garden. Herb garden? It's more like a bush. Oh, it's very fashionable nowadays. Clara Juice has one. A bush? That too, probably. I'm talking about a herb garden. No, but it's literally growing out of the wall. Ah, a lura? It's a hanging herb garden, like of Babylon. Yes, and all its rivers. Oh, rivers, it's only a drop or two coming from the water heater and maybe, maybe some damp coming in through the roof. But tell me, what Maltese property doesn't have that, Oh, Han? I mean, you have a husband who can put some membrane up on the roof. You know, membrane. Membrane, it's this thing that they put on the roof to stop the water from coming in. OK, OK, I don't need a man brain to mansplain membrane to me. What, Han? The water heater's from the 70s, it's very good. But it's actually dripping water. Yeah, but that's only when it's switched on and to leave it off, Oh, Shara. It's very hot nowadays, or most of the year. You only need it for a couple of weeks, Oosh. This property was meant to have valley views. Ah, look. Mm-hmm, I only see houses. Yes. Houses in the valley. Yes, but there's no greenery. Push no greenery, the Sheba greenery. Ah, Radoris Tafachata, you won't find a bigger Hadra than her. That's not what I meant by greenery. And didn't you say this property was a three bed property? Ah, three, four bed. Yeah, we have, we've only seen two bedrooms. So? Where are the other bedrooms? There are no other bedrooms, Tahan. Then how can you say it's a three or four bed property? You put two beds in each bedroom. That gives you four beds, Ta. And this neighbourhood is... Amazing, Oosh Han. I was going to say industrial. Oh, it's up and coming, Oosh. It's, a, it's a amazing for raising a family. There's a dog eating a pigeon's carcass on the pavement. I know, kids love animals. The street is full of garages and warehouses. Like I said, Oosh, perfect. Han, Ara, you've got your mechanic next door. You can take your car to him for service. Uh, you've got panel beating across the road, and two doors down, you've got lime mixing for concrete. But on the phone, didn't you say this property was close to shops? Ah, it's very close. I don't see any shops in the street. Ara, look, if you drive ten minutes down this road, you reach the roundabout, and then you go into the flyover, and then you join the dual carriageway, and you follow that, you reach the car park, you get on the park and ride. So, it'll take me 40 minutes to get to the shops if I manage to find parking. All right, look, between you and me, they're about to build a massive superstore just two blocks away. Isn't that all Dizet? Yes, hi, Mama, but they're going to build a petrol station first. And then once they have that, then they build a superstore. It's a really good loophole. I don't think this is the place for me. Why not? It's perfect. All right, look, the neighbor's really quiet. He's never here, really. He's in and out of the police lockup. Why? Is he a drug dealer? What a rush! He works for the government. See, I don't think this property ticks many of my boxes. <sighs> Mela, what would tick your box, Han? I asked for a historical place, preferably with country views and close to the shops. This is historical, ta. Adrian Delia owned this place, and it was also once an illegal brothel. Not that those two things are necessarily related. OK, but that's not exactly what I meant. OK, look. I have a property that I think you would really like, OK? OK. How do you feel about a maisonette? I'm not against it. Great. All right, I have this beautiful one, OK? It's new. It's a new build just on the market. It's underground. It's fully furnished. What? And fully furnished. Oh, yeah, that's something we can talk about no, later. No, did you say underground? Ah, yeah. underground. It reminds me of these apartments you see in the movies. Eh? What? Movie, Parasite? Amazing, Ushan. OK, OK, clearly this isn't working. Maybe, maybe another estate agent will be a better fit. Ara, look, Han, 
Tell me your budget. Not a penny over 200,000 euro. Great. All right. I have a beautiful townhouse that I can show you. I think you should see it. What's the asking price? 500,000. But I think they'll come down a bit, ta. No, I am leaving now because you haven't listened to a word I said. You have been condescending, obnoxious, okay, untruthful and very arrogant and so annoying. You just want to make a sale no matter what the cost. You have wasted my time. You have been so disrespectful. Okay, this place is a dump. No, no, it is worse than a dump. It is a shithole in the shittiest of shitholes. It smells of sweaty armpit. And I'm pretty sure that that's a rat's nest under that pile of garbage over there. But I'm telling you, it's nothing when compared to you. So you don't want to make an offer 